Hello again. Uh, you may have seen some of the fiddle video clips I put together. Uh, I've been playing the fiddle for a little over 30 years, but for the same amount of time I've been playing the rhythm bones. And basically, uh, what the rhythm bones are, a very simple instrument. What I have in my hand are just a couple of rib bones uh, from a cow. And, uh, oh, I'd say they're about six between six and eight inches long and uh, what you, basically what you do I'll hold my hand out here and uh, put the the first bone in between your index and middle finger bring your middle finger down onto the edge of the bone and press it tightly and hold it tight into the fleshy part of your thumb there and you can bring your index finger down to help help it stay in place if you want to sometimes I leave mine up but uh, this bone doesn't move you just keep constant pressure on it with your middle finger the second bone goes in right to uh, the other side of your index finger and that bone should should just be rocking back and forth loosely now what happens uh, when you tip your hand back and snap your wrist it'll hit against that bone that you're holding tightly and it'll with a snap of your wrist you'll get a maybe a secondary click sometimes depending on how, how hard you snap your wrist and you can also move back and forth just like you're waving hello to someone you can hear every now and then you'll get that secondary click and if you go a little bit faster you can get a kind of a steady rhythm and it's also possible to do a roll like that, a steady, like a drum roll. And the bones are a real, a real hard substance, so they, they tend to uh, produce that secondary click very easily with the, with the real cow bones, but they come in a variety of uh, substances. Here's a pair that were made uh, out of oak, just oak wood. They have a little bit different sound to them. Also, uh, a pair of commercial bones that I found at a yard sale. Uh, they came in a package that looked like it was from the 1950s or 1960s. They're kind of a Bakelite plastic, and they actually uh, say bones on them. You can see that maybe uh, rhythm bones, and they have a a little groove on either side. I hope the camera will show that, and that helps them to stay in position without uh, flying out of your hand because they tend to slide around. They have a different sound also, and. Uh, well, I have it in mind about the sliding. If you're using bones, whether they're uh, the wooden ones or real bones, you can take a little bit of, this is just a piece of beeswax from an old candle, and just rub it down the on the edges of the bones. And that will give them a little bit of a of a stickiness. They won't go flying out of your hand and hit someone. And you can also play uh, a set in each hand. Here's uh, the bake light, light ones in, uh, in one hand and uh, the oak ones in another. You can produce an interesting rhythm that way.
Um, I also made a set of metal bones. Actually, I didn't make these, sorry. Um, a friend of mine did metal casting, and he used the plastic ones as a pattern. Uh, made a sand casting with aluminum and uh, duplicated those bones. Now the metal bones are very loud. And you can change the pitch on, on any of your bones by sliding them back and forth. There's a different sound. metallic sound and again uh, right and left hand um, there are times you might not want a real loud set of bones uh, one time down in Florida I found uh, down in st. Petersburg Florida a uh, palmetto frond, a dried palmetto frond, and these were all over the place. Uh, and what I did was I I uh, just kind of shaved down, try and show these on the camera, uh, about halfway down the frond, made them narrow and out down towards the bottom they're thicker. And uh, Basically, I just cut them down to make them easier to hold. You can see the, the thicker part down here. Now, the palmetto uh, is a very light wood. It's almost uh, not quite as light as balsa wood, but they have a very soft sound. But they're also responsive. It's, it's, a, it's a dried... Uh, when, when the wood dries it becomes uh, hard and, and you can get that uh, rhythm. You can also turn these inward like so and they'll hit again uh, a variety of, of tones and uh, just kind of in a nutshell that's about it. Uh, I got interested in uh, in the bones, uh, oh, probably back in 1976, and I was at a uh, music festival. I met a man by the name of Percy Danforth, and uh, if you Google Percy Danforth, you'll you'll find some information uh, about him and uh, a lifetime of bones playing. Uh, this is a pair of uh, Danforth bones that I got from Percy. Uh, at a music festival in 1976 and I learned to play them by keeping them in the car uh, just keeping them on the dashboard of the car and I spent a lot of time out on the highway and you really only need one hand to drive so I would play these along to the radio and uh, that's how I learned and uh, I've been having fun with them ever since so uh, I hope that uh, you might uh, find a tip or two in here in this video uh, to be of use to you and uh, and have some fun also with the bones. Thanks for watching.